How you doing everybody? Welcome to Stay in Focus for Jesus. Just what we do here, trust in Jesus Christ and stay focused for Him. Um, have you ever sent somebody to the store and it took them so long to come back that you had to call them and ask them, um, you know, what was taking so long when they got back, they, you were like, no, what took you, took you forever. And they got every excuse in the book of, oh, they had to stop and do this, or they seen this, or they stopped and talked to this person, which may be the truth, or, you know, traffic was crazy, which is a possibility. Could have been a, um, you know, stumbling block, something that was uh, preventing them from getting there on time that was out of their control. Um... I remember when I was young, my mom used to send me to the store. Even even these days now, she may uh, send me to the store if I'm in the area, or she may call me and say, hey, if you're in the area, can you stop and get this? And I'd be like, okay, so I'm trying to make a cake, or I'm doing this, um, or whatnot. And then she, uh, <laughs> she'll call me, like, you know, 20 minutes or 30 minutes later, like, where you at? You know, I, I, need, I need this now. I told her I need it now, or whatnot. And I didn't made, um, you know, excuses of... Uh, why I didn't go do it? I probably, I'm probably still sitting down, haven't even got to go do it. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it, or I may be doing something else, but just taking my, um, taking my time and whatnot, knowing that I can go ahead and take care of that for her, or maybe something did getting away from me, um, from me getting to where I needed to go to get what she needed. And I ask that, and I say that because why we do, why do we do the same thing with God? We do, why do we do the same thing with our faith? You know, as born again believers, we make excuses of why we can't do this and why we can't do that as far as the work that he has called us to do. Now, I don't know what he has called you to do as far as what he has called me to do. But, you know, we all serve a purpose. Just like my mom sending me to the store to go pick up something, to go do something. I'm serving a purpose for her. She asked me to do it. And I accepted what she had um, asked me to do. And as born again believers, we are different parts of the body of Christ as the scripture tells us. And we all serve a purpose. And we accepted his gift of salvation. Him dying on the cross for our sins, his death, his burial, his resurrection, his shed blood. We accepted that. And we each serve a purpose to do the work or the task that he has given us to do. But yet we still want to take our time and do it when we want to do it. Oh, I'm, I got this going on in my life. I don't have time or whatnot. But we want him to move when we want him to move when it's something for us. But when, when it's something for him, oh, yeah, I get it done. I get done for the week out or whatnot. But let me or let you need to go to the store for ourselves. We go to the store to get that ice cream we want. I don't know about you, but I love um, I love me some pralines and cream ice cream. One of my favorite or whatnot. I don't know if you ever had that. Um, I forgot the brand of it. Gel gelatino or something like that. It's real good. It's all natural. I'm not getting off topic, but uh, just to give you a perspective, I'll be sitting in the house and I, I like, I want some ice cream. I'll jump up and go get that, regardless if it's around the street or around the block or a few exits, oh, exits over as far as you know, on the bypass and stuff. But yet, when it's for somebody else or putting it into perspective, when it's something for God, we tend to put it off or we take our time with it. What happened to that, that, that fire? What happened to that zeal, that love for doing the things of the Lord? And sometimes we lose focus of that. Sometimes we lose, um, lose that fire. And it's important that we, you know, when it's revealed to us and he shows us, hey, you've been slacking. Or, you know, you're taking your time with this and I want you to go ahead and get it taken care of because I have something bigger for you to do or have some more things for you to do. You know, a lot of people um, say, that, oh, I'm ready to go home, I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go home too. But we can't go home unless we do the work that he's called us to do. But we're taking our time 
to do the things that he has called us to do, then of course we're going to be here longer than you know than we want to be. I mean, I'm ready to go right now. If my phone drops and I disappear, then hey, if you hear a trumpet sounding, then hey, <laughs> I pray that you, you know, what I'm saying you get caught up in the clouds also. But um, so I just want you to take that into consideration. To stay focused for Jesus. To stay doing the things that he has called you to do. And to go ahead and do it. Go ahead and take care of whatever it is. Because, I mean, I don't know about you, but there's this joy in serving the Lord. You know, my, my joy used to be working on cars. And I still do want to work on cars, but it's like, okay, the money I'm using to work on cars and fix up cars, I could be using that money toward, you know, advancing the kingdom as far as printing out Bible tracts, as far as blessing somebody that Lord, the Holy Spirit, may lead me to blessing them with financial money because they may need it, going through some hardships in their lives. So I have to, you know, decide, do I want to do the works of the flesh or do I want to do the works of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? And do I want to go ahead and do it instead of procrastinating about it? And then later on, like, oh, I forgot what I was supposed to do. Like, as soon as the Lord puts a video or a message on my, on my heart and in my soul, I go with it. I go ahead and take care of it right then. Because there'd be so much joy in me when he gives me revelation or something to share that I, I really, I can't contain it. So I'm like, oh, that's good. That, that's good, God. And I pray to these messages that I put out. So I pray that they encourage you. And I pray to lead somebody to salvation. To know that I'm just a man, just like you're, you know, you're a man or, or a woman. My brothers and sisters, we're in this together. I'm here to encourage you, uplift you, edify the church. Because it is a struggle out here. You know, we do take our time. We do do things when we want to do it instead of doing it when God wants us to do it. So stay encouraged in the faith. And for those who are non-believers who may have come across this video, it's a simple message. Repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. His death, his burial, his resurrection. That he died for you. That you're a sinner and need us in need of a savior. That savior and that only savior is Jesus Christ. There is no other way. Buddha can't do it. Muhammad can't do it. The Dalai Lama can't do it. Mother Teresa can't do it. The Pope can't do it. Your church can't save you. Your pastor can't save you. Only Jesus Christ can save you. Religion cannot save you. Accept this free gift. It's simple. Confess with your mouth and believe with your heart that God is raised from the dead and you shall be saved. The Holy Spirit, when you become born again, He'll do the rest. You can't change yourself. Only God Almighty, the Holy Spirit, can do that. So God bless you in Jesus Christ's name. I pray you have a blessed day.